morning of day seven. After some thoughtful contemplation overnight and more studying of the map, I decided not to try and cross this river because I'm worried that we're going to get stuck on the other side of it if another river that we would need to cross to get out, which is probably equally in size, is probably also not braided and concentrated into a single roaring channel. So. Let me point out I thought of that last night and he was like, no, they go into the bridge in two places and then they join and I was like, I guess I don't really know. We're going to hike up to the glacier today, do a day hike, come back and camp here again and then we'll figure out what to do on this side of the river from there, but no river crossing. Laundry time. Amy working on making some more water. We're off to find a glacier day hike. It's the best. Matt doesn't have a backpack. find a nice game trail to walk along and that helps speed your progress quite a bit for all 50 yards. Oh. Oh wow, that's like 12 feet straight down. Huh. So we're coming up to the point where I wasn't sure yesterday if we'd be able to get by it big black rock down there. Looks like it could be a cliff into the river. We'll find out soon enough. I'll update you in five minutes. No problem. Even upstream of the confluence of these two major canyons, this side is still a lot of water. We have once again come to a pinch point. It looks like we'll probably be able to get through, but not 100% clear. That wasn't so bad. We just had to play the dull sheep game to avoid that. But now we're looking good. We came across this ground squirrel while we were walking through this grass and I snuck up close to him and was able to get about four or five feet away uh, behind this little tuft of rock and popped up and got some great photos. Some rock ptarmigans running along here and I managed to snap a couple really nice photos. Pushed by the leading edge of a glacier would be my guess. 
As I stared at this big pile of rocks, I started to suspect it might be a glacier in disguise. Matt found his glacier. Ice. It's ice with lots of rocks trapped in it. And bubbles. Bubbles of old air with unknown viruses. We made it onto the top of this remnant of a glacier. A big, big mountain. are growing on the glacier itself. Hydraulics are impressive, especially at a minuscule scale. These little roots have gone into the rock and helped crack it in half so it just falls open. I'm happy to have made it to a glacier. <laughs> Even if it's just a remnant of a glacier. I think it counts. For sure. Everyone, please be impressed that our feet are dry. First time since the first day that they're dry. And it hasn't rained yet today, so that means it's been at least like 12 hours since it's rained, which is amazing. Also, another thing I never thought I'd say, I never, no longer stop and take pictures of bear tracks or wolf tracks. I look at them and I think, oh look, more wolf tracks. And I keep walking. Who am I? What's going on? We found a lovely little glen to rest a while, warm up in the sunshine, dry our feet out a little bit, put on some more sunscreen, and enjoy life. time we've been in Yellowstone. Almost home. Came to the part, well we've come to the part where the bank cut away our trail and it ends in a cliff and we have to go around. So it's almost dinner time. Amy checking out the sheep. Grassy here where she just dropped the ball instead of rock. 